Well, hello preteens and welcome to our online service today at North Park Community Church. Thanks for joining me. Uh, and today we're going to talk about a really important story from the Bible about two guys who persevered through some pretty difficult times. But in the end, they were able to find joy and um, trust in God more. And this is really important things to learn in life because um, I don't know about you, but sometimes life can get pretty difficult. And you might be wondering why I'm holding two pairs of tongs today. Well, I'm gonna play a little game to start called Eat My Lunch with only using salad tongs. And I'm imagining it might be pretty difficult, but do you wanna see how it goes? All right, first of all, I have to get the first thing from my lunch is my, oh, I can't even, I can't even pick it up. Here it is. Oh no, my, ah! This is difficult. Okay. Here's my sandwich. And it's difficult to eat a sandwich with tong hands. Hmm, let's see if I can move on to the next part of my lunch. Maybe that will be easier. Here we go. It's my mm, muffin. I'm gonna try to get the wrapper off. Hey, that's not so bad. Sometimes things are really difficult, like with my sandwich. Sometimes, maybe not that difficult. Oh, the last piece I'm gonna try to eat of my lunch with tong hands <laughs> is my almonds. You know what? Life would be difficult if we didn't have our hands and instead we had salad tongs. But if we persevered, I bet you I would learn how to use these salad tongs better and I wouldn't drop my sandwich on the ground and things might get a little bit easier. Well, that's a little bit what we're learning about today from our Bible story, about persevering even when things get difficult and learning to trust God. So I'm gonna send you off to the so-and-so show now and then I'll be back here. I won't be eating my lunch with salad hands anymore, but I will see you here after the so-and-so show. See you soon.
What? Hey, hey, did you see that? What? What? What's this? Uh, yeah, it bounced right back to you. Oh, it's like a boomerang. No, not that. Just wait right there. Okay. What did you do? Nothing. Leave. It's my basement. Leave oh. now. Okay. Oof. Hey everybody, I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and welcome to the So and So Show. Best show ever. Oh yeah. <laughs> Today is such a good day. Can't you just feel it in the air? I really can. I feel like I could fly. Really? Or sing. Okay. Hey, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? I just said it twice, down in my heart. I know. You that never was... listened to me. I was. Anyway, it's a good day. Nothing's going to bring me down today. Uh. Well, then let's spread the joy a little. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Hey, oh, hey, it's sugar. Hey, sugar, come on in. Yeah, come on. <laughs> sugar, sugar. <laughs> For people who don't know you, uh, who are you and what do you think? I mean, I, who are you and what do you smell? Oh, what do you know? What, what do you know? I'm Sugar. I work at a carnival. Nothing else to tell. Nothing? I mean, nothing pungent? I mean, new to say? Nothing new going on in your life? No. Uh, don't mind me. I just uh, suddenly have a fear of my nose being shown on camera. <laughs> I get it. Uh -huh. I smell bad. Yes! I mean, uh, what? You? The carnival had a health code violation, and now the petting zoo is at my house until further notice. Oh. Sounds fun. <laughs> all those cute little animals hanging out with you all the time. I mean, you could pet them whenever you wanted to. Whenever you just. So uh, what kind of, kind of animals are in your petting zoo? One llama, four ducks, two goats, five rabbits, three pigs, two turtles, a lemur, and a cat. You have rabbits? Let's go to your house right now. You want to meet one of them? You brought them with you? Yeah. So? I'd like to meet a lemur. And I'd like to meet a kangaroo. Which one do you want to meet? Flurry, Flurfy, Fluffy, or George? Uh, so many choices. Oh, Fluffy! I want a Fluffy buddy! All right. <laughs> I like rabbits. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so, uh, uh, Sugar, what's, what's your favorite thing about having all the animals at your house? Nothing. They no. smell. No. Makes me smell. Takes up all my space. It's horrible. Oh, how could it be horrible when you have this cute little girl and you just snuggle up with names you meet? Look at this. Sugar, I'm not that bad at money. She's a little cute. And it is kind of cool that rabbits can see on almost a full 360 degrees because their eyes are on the side of their faces. And their only blind spot is right in front of their nose. Wow, what else do you know about rabbits? Well, they can jump up to three feet high and 10 feet long. Oh, that's pretty awesome. And they use their ears to regulate their body temperature. Oh, that is so awesome. But what's not awesome is having five rabbits, one llama, four ducks, two goats, three pigs, two turtles, a lemur, and a cat living in your house. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think maybe you could use some help, sugar. You want two goats? No, no. What I want is Bible story time with Kellen. Where's Kellen? Uh, Kellen, are you there? Over here! Hello! And welcome to Bible Story Time with me! Kellen, are you gonna do the puppet heads today? Nope, you are. Just thought I'd see what it's like, and it's, um, 
is pretty cool. Are you guys ready for it? Always. Why not? Let's do it. Then it's time now for Human Head Puppet Theater. <laughs> You can read this story yourself in the book of Acts. It's about two Jesus followers who helped spread the gospel a couple thousand years ago. Their names were Paul and Silas. Ah, Silas, isn't it a beautiful day to go and pray? Indeed, Paul. I wholeheartedly agree. Mm. Let's go. Paul and Silas were on their way to the place of prayer when they met a woman who was controlled by a spirit that did not come from God. That spirit could tell people the future. And some greedy people had enslaved this woman so they could make money off of her. When she met Paul and Silas, she began shouting. These men serve the Most High God. They are telling you how to be saved. Dear God, thank you for your love and faith. These men serve the Most High God. They are telling you how to be saved. <sighs> Dear God, thank you These for your love. These men serve the Most High God. They are telling you how to be saved. Dear These God. These men serve the Most High God. This went on for a while. Many days, actually. Are you going These to- These men serve the Most High in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you, come out of her. Oh, wow. I feel like myself again. <laughs> Thanks. The spirit came out of the woman. Those who had enslaved her were not happy with Paul after that. He had just ruined their way of making money. So they grabbed Paul and Silas, had them beaten and whipped and thrown into prison. And stay in! Don't go getting any funny ideas about escaping. I've got my orders to keep my eyes on you. Wow, it's really dark in here. Yeah, we are very deep in the prison. Hey, how's your back? It hurts, mm. but I believe that God will take care of us. Mm -hmm. Later that night, around midnight, God, Thank you for your faithfulness. We pray that you fill this prison with your mercy and love. We exalt thee, we exalt thee, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. Mm. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. Paul and Silas praised God, and all the other prisoners were listening to them. When suddenly, oh, 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 what is that? God sent a oh, powerful oh. earthquake that shook the prison from top to bottom. The chains oh. fell off everyone and the prison doors opened. It must be God. <laughs> ah! The prison doors are open! Oh no, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna be in so much trouble. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't hurt yourself. We're all here. What? Light! <gasps> oh, you're here. What must I do to be saved? Believe in the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. You and everyone living in your house will be saved. This is amazing. I do believe. Come out of prison and come to my home. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. The jailer took them home, washed Paul and Silas's wounds, and fed them a meal. Everyone in the jailer's house believed in God and they were baptized. The next morning, the people who had thrown Paul and Silas in prison finally set them free. The end. Wow, thanks, Kellen. Yeah, so Paul and Silas were beaten up and put in prison, and they didn't even do anything wrong. Yeah. What a tough situation. Seriously. Yeah, but instead of spending their time feeling sorry for themselves or complaining, Paul and Silas prayed and worshiped God. They found a way to choose joy even when life got hard. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, thanks, Kellen. You bet. Later. Bye. Oh, how awesome is that? Oh, and Sugar, good job. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You know, Kellen is pretty smart. 
I've been complaining about my animals so much, I haven't been able to find the joy in having them around. Hmm. Choosing joy is going to help me keep going. That's what I was trying to tell you earlier. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Reveal the question. What helps you keep going? Oh, yeah, that's a great question. You know, when things get hard, feel impossible, or even painful, what are things that help keep you going? Uh, praying or singing songs to God like Paul and Silas mm -hmm. can help. Or you could try remembering things you're grateful for. Sometimes I just need a good friend to talk to. Aw, sugar. Come here, Fluffy. Oh, I can't stay mad at you. Talk about it together. What helps keep you going? And we'll see you next time. I'm John. I'm Brandon. I'm Sugar. And I'm Fluffy. <laughs> and this was the So-and-So Show. <laughs> you made the bunny talk. And it was when he said, I can't, I don't have any songs. I just have cars. I can't pick up few ones. That, this song makes no sense. <laughs> Hey, you know what? The kids love Chicago. <laughs>